Greetings, pop pickers everywhere. Oh, wrong programme. Greetings, countdown lovers everywhere. That's right, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's the end of a, it's the end of a long week. We're, and I'm in a lot of pain, aren't I, Carol? I <laughs> you don't, don't complain. Much. Um, as promised, anyway, Carol. These the trousers are have got tighter, you know. These are genuine been... extracts from letters received. Oh by... yeah. Oh, these... Sorry, yeah. These are genuine extracts from letters received by the Ministry of Labour Office in Edinburgh, which deals with public welfare. Now, admittedly, the person that sent me this thinks these are about 40 years old, these things, but they're still quite funny. OK. We can, uh, give me some numbers. Seven. Milk is needed for the baby. Father is unable to provide it. <laughs> Two. Ray, your dental inquiry. The teeth at the top are all right. The ones in my bottom are hurting terribly. <laughs> Thirteen. Please send me a form for cheap milk. I have a two-month-old baby and did not know about it, anything about it until a neighbour told me. <laughs> Last one, nine. Please send me a form proper for milk, as I am stagnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're probably classic ones, those, aren't they? Hey, classic. Talking of which, we've had some classic games this week and we've got a champion firmly in the chair, so we welcome him back to that champion's chair and, of course, our challenger today. So welcome champion Russell Gaines and challenger Nett Steinson. Well, Russell from Rotherham is uh, settling in quite nicely. It doesn't get any easier, as we say, does it? No, it certainly doesn't. No, but uh, anyway, you're quite happy with your performers. 56 and a 60, so nothing wrong in that. Very good. No. Very good. Good, so that's Russell, publican from Rotherham, as I say. And now, uh, Nett Steinson. Is it Steinson? Yes. It, it is. is, right. She lives in Burnside in Cumbria. Is that the Lake District? Yeah, Good. It is. She's married with one son, and she's a full-time housewife. She plays darts for her local pub. So you're yeah. a... Yeah, good. Captain. Are you the captain? Mm -hmm. And the pub's called the Jolly Anglers, but the team is called the Jolly Danglers. <laughs> <laughs> As Nett says that gravity is playing havoc with all their bodies. <laughs> she also says her ambition is to live on an Indian reservation. But today she'll settle for outscoring her, component, her opponent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, this is my real job, you know. <laughs> I've got a living to make. <laughs> well, last time, our G of the D beat our contestants with the eight-letter word hairnets. Hairnets. So, obviously, we've asked him back. So, I'll ask you all to pay homage <laughs> to Geoffrey Durham <laughs> with Buffon Brains, <laughs> Catherine Clark. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> well, the day I need a hairnet will be a rare day, I think. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> OK, Geoffrey, never mind. What did they say in Beyond the Fringe about William Shakespeare? I keep quoting this and no-one remembers it. They no, I said, don't remember they it. They said it? Shakespeare, bald but sexy. <laughs> That's what they said in Beyond the Fringe. Doesn't well, anyone remember it about me? Do I just talk to an empty nation? Yeah. <laughs> Beyond the Fringe, one of the greatest shows of all time. I know every word of it. Shall I speak? Shall I... You want to hear no. the sermon? All oh, right. <laughs> OK, Russell and... Russell and Nett. Russell and Nett. It's the Russell and Nett show. Russell, off you go. Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Russell. S. And another. L. And another. G. A vowel, please. I. And another vowel. E. <coughs> and another vowel. U. A consonant. B. A consonant. Q, but you have the U. And another consonant, please. And another consonant, and that is C. OK, thank you. Here we go. Well now, Russell. Six. Six net. Six. What have you got net? Bugles. A bugles. Bugles, Russell. Bulges. Bulges. <laughs> <laughs> she'll put up bulges. I can tell you that now. <laughs> I can tell you that for now. She'll put up bulges. <laughs> there it is. She's put up bulges, but she can't spell it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeffrey. 
Um, well, actually, we didn't get bulges or bugles. No, we got cliques, though, didn't we? For seven. Cliques for seven. Seven. What? Cliques. Cliques. Oh, cliques. Or uh, clicks, I think it's sometimes. No, so. no, no, not at all. Not at all. It's always cliques. But anyway. Absolutely, cliques. There it is. Cliques there. It's good. Right, six and six. Well done, you two. Net, it's your choice. Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Net. N. Another. Another one. Yes, please. R. A vowel, please. I. Um, another vowel. A. Uh, consonant, please. D. Another consonant. R. Vowel. A vowel, that is O. Consonant. T. And another, please. And another one, that's O T T. <laughs> okay, another T's there for our tea time show. Five. Just five this time, Russell. Six. Six. What have you got, Net? Uh, tarot. Oh, tarot. Yeah, in the card thing. Mm -hmm. Those cards. Tarot. But a six. Ordain. Ordain. Mm. Both words we didn't we didn't spot. It's well, funny this, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we we did get a <coughs> seven, which was traitor. But that was the best we could do. Yep. Yeah. Well, ordain obviously fine for six, but traitor there. Uh, for the seven. Uh, good. So, there we are. Scores 12 and 6. And it is round three. And letters from Russell, please. A consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Russell. F. And another. D. And another. L. A vowel, please. E. And a vowel. O. And a vowel. And a vowel. I. A consonant. N. A consonant. S. Another consonant, please. And another one, thank you. And T. So the clock starts now. Seven. Net. Seven. Russell, seven. Stifled. Yes, stifled for seven. Net. Fondest. Fondest. Fondest and stifled. We have there. Just a couple there. Fondest is going up, so that's one of the sevens. Thank you. Geoffrey? I think seven is the, is the limit. Yeah. Um, fondles is there and tenfold is there. That's right. Mm. Uh, but I think seven is yes, the Yes, I think it probably... I think it probably is. Tenfold. Thanks, Carol. Well, the score's then 19 13. To the numbers now, Net. Net's numbers next. Uh, one from the top, Carol, and any other five. OK, thank you very much, Net. And five. Right, we have for the first numbers game four and two, one and eight, four and 25. And the target is 609. All right, 609, 609. After 609, everybody. So, net. 609. Good girl. Russell. 609. Okay, here, net. 609, please. Net and Carol. Uh, 
4 times 25 is 100. It is. 4 plus 2 is 6. Yeah. Times 100 by the 6. Is 600. Add the 8 and the 1. Absolutely right, 609. Good. Russell. Uh, 4 plus 2 is 6. Yep. Times 4 is 24. Yep. Times 25 is 600. Exactly the same, yeah. yep. And then add on the 8 and 1. one. Yes? Yes. OK. Excellent. Excellent. OK, yes? Yeah, absolutely yep. fine. OK. Good. So, well, six points between the two, 29 and 23, and we can relax and, and uh, see what Geoffrey has got to entertain us with. This week I've been doing tricks with shapes, puzzles with shapes, and um, today's one starts off by being a little bit of origami. You know what origami is? It's that stuff they sprinkle on pizzas. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece of paper, which has got stripes on one side and is blank on the other, and I'm going to fold it so that the stripes all go the same way. And I'm going to fold that bit in there. And if I tuck in carefully, I get a tube with horizontal lines. Hope you can see, Catherine, that there's, it's, it's just white inside mm -hmm. and horizontal lines all the way around the outside. Interesting thing, this tube. Interests me. I like this. Because if I turn this tube over, you see. The lines become vertical. <laughs> Can you explain that? I can't explain that at all. If I turn it over, you see, look like that, and they're, and they're horizontal again. And there they are, and they're vertical. And there they're... I'm going to do this for, forever, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take it apart and show you once more that it really is just a piece of paper. Do you want to take that and have a look at it? Back to you, Richard. Yeah. The man's a genius. <laughs> How do we get him for the price? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fantastic, Geoffrey. OK, well done. You. You, you deserve a break, and you, you all deserve a break, and you can now have a break. We'll be back in part two very soon. Thank you. And back in the, uh, the cauldron, this is the countdown studio, we have uh, this position 29 for the champion Russell and good challenge by Nett Steinson on a 23. So, Nett, it's over to you. Um, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Nett. R. Um, another one, please. Come on, yeah. K. Uh, vowel, please. E. And another. A. Uh, consonant, please. N. Um, another, please. W. Uh, vowel, please. E. Uh, consonant, please. Z. And another, please. Thank you very much. Uh, and F. We've all got one. We've all got Fez, haven't we? We can all see Fez. <laughs> Well, net six. Six, Russell. Six. Net six. Weaken. Weaken. Yes, weaken, Russell. Weaker. Oh, weaker. We yes, we weaken and weaker. Interestingly enough, is what we can we can get there for the six. Jeffrey. No better. Ah, we got two words. We got weaken and weaker. <laughs> Say no more. Yep, that's it. You just stick to your tricks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, that's the score. Going up by six points there. 35-29, round six. Russell, let's see what you choose now. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Russell. L. And another one. Y. And another. P. A vowel. I. Another vowel. A. A consonant. N. Another consonant, please. M. A vowel. O. And another vowel, please. Another vowel. Thank you. 
and I. Good. Mwah. Here we go. Okay, Russell. Um, save seven. Good. Net? Um, five. What's the five? Amply. Amply. Yes, amply. What's the save seven? Alimony. Alimony. Yes, so. and what were you thinking about? Sticking the P on the front. <laughs> Alimony. We wondered, and it's there. It is. Yes. Not worth taking the risk sometimes, is it? But yes, it is. Yes. Mm. Pally money. OK, well, that's very good for, for seven, but obviously there was the eight and pally money. So you get the seven, so it's 42 and 29, and it's Nett's letters then, please. Um, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Nett. S. Another, please. H. Uh, vowel. E. Mm -hmm. Another vowel, please. O. Consonant, please. C. Another consonant. V. Um, vowel, please. A. Uh, consonant, please. M. And another, please. And another one, that. Thank you. And L. Good. So the clock starts now. Okay, net. Uh, six. A six. Russell? Seven. Six. Uh, net six is? Shovel. Shovel. Ah, shovel. Great, great guy, shovel. Russell? Alcoves. 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 Well, these two are so busy looking in their dictionaries. What are you looking at? <laughs> it is nice to come here and learn something. <laughs> I didn't know this. Did you know this word? You obviously you did. Clever thing. Coevals. Did you know that? I've come across it before, but knowing precisely what it means uh, means resorting to the dictionary. Um, having the same age or date of origin, and people who have the same age are coevals. They even have co coevality, <laughs> it says here. So people who are born on the same day are coevals. Exactly. Right. Well, well done. Well done, you two. So, 49 and 29, so you need to score two lots of tens here. Net, and then we've got an interesting situation on our hands, but it's Russell's choice of numbers, so let's see what he's up to. I'll try him again, Carol. Six small ones. Six small ones, Russell. You know how to make yourself popular, don't you? Right. Let's see. Oh, heck, here we go again. Two, and we have a ten. One. Three. Three. And nine. The target of 370, should we say? Okay, 370. 370. Looking very calm. Yes, 370. 370. Mm. Net? No. 360. No. What, two, 360? Mm -hmm. Well, it would have been, might have had a chance, but it depends on how, how Russell's done. Let's hear it. Russell, 370. Yeah, 3 plus 1 is 4. Yep. Times the 9, 36. 36. Add the 3 and take away the 1. Yep. So take away the 2, I mean, sorry. Uh, yeah. 3 minus 2 is 1. Yeah, and add that add on. the top, so it's 37. 37, yep. Times by the 10. Times by the 10, 370. Well done. Well done, Russell. <laughs> Very good. It's good as the lad, isn't it, Carol? It is, right, good eye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 370. Excellent. 
Go. So, 59 and 29 out of harm's way, it has to be said. So, let us now move on to the conundrum. So, if you're both ready, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. To no avail, it beat them both. Uh, it is a difficult one, actually, but you might just kick yourselves. Here it is. Mm. Indulgence. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> shot of you, Nick. <laughs> I love it. That's wonderful. Anyway, it wasn't to be. So, let us just evaluate the position. No one got that, so Nets on 29. And Russell still in the champion share for the third time. Good score, 59. Russell still in the share. Well done. <laughs> And there it is, uh, Net. I'm sorry that, uh, as far as countdown goes, it's curtains for you. Curtains, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to say that. <laughs> but anyway, you don't have far to go, because outside this studio is the A65, and you just go in the A65 and you end up in your backyard, don't you? Yeah, Almost. You do. Right, the leads to Kendall Road. So take your goodie bag with you. Have a good time with the Jolly Danglers at the pub. Thank you. And I think you're a great lady, but I'm sorry you couldn't stay long. But it's a going home time with a goodie bag for Nett Steinson. Thank you. Eric Bertwell from Great Harwood in Blackburn. Hello, Eric. Hello. I'm sure you got that conundrum, didn't you? Not really, no. Not really? <laughs> <laughs> Not even pretend? Not even pretend, okay. no. Well, we'll see, you. we'll see you on Monday anyhow, so uh, we're all being well. We just have a time for a quickie before we dance off. Quick ten-second puzzle You've more with a like shape. You. Yeah. There you are. There's the word cube. What you have to do is fill in the asterisks and make another word, a seven-letter word, quick as you can. Ten seconds, another word. Uh, Got it? Crumble. crumble. Exactly. Crumble. Crumble. Who yes. said that? The whole audience said it. Crumble. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well done, crum uh, Crumble. Crum well done, Crumble. Well done, Crumble. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Geoffrey, thanks very much indeed. Thank and you. And you, Catherine. So, another weekend of you, Carol, I suppose, you, what, you, you all stuff that you do? I think uh, I might make a rhubarb crumble, actually. Yes. I do love rhubarb crumble. I do love rhubarb, yes. <gasps> nice custard. I'll tell you who likes rhubarb crumbles. Who? Your rhubarb. Paulie Walters, the... Oh, does he? Terry Wogan's yeah. um, superior being on yeah. his programme. Yeah, the man yes. who, who, was, who was in charge of Terry Wogan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's a man. He's a big rhubarb crumble man. Is he? Well, a rhubarb. He, he's, and he he's can't very, quite do the very handsome, Paulie Walters. All the girlies like him. No, I'm not surprised. They do. Mm. Anyway, that's the end of this for this week, and we'll see you for more on Monday. So until we all meet again, have a safe weekend, and goodbye. Mm.